Like the you, abyss. Yeah. I heard the story that Ed Harris almost died because he ran out of oxygen when he was swimming to one of those tanks or something. There, there was no oxygen and he barely made it. Is that true? I don't know. You never I heard mean, about that. I've heard Ed tell it. Uh, well, when I say I don't know, I, Ed, you can go online and listen to Ed talk about exactly what happened to him. And I think more than anything else, there was a mix up underwater and a safety diver got to him and didn't put uh, the octopus in right into his mouth. And uh, he sucked up some, and it happened to Jim Cameron too. Um, there was a time when we were shooting, we had a 30 foot tank and uh, we're at the bottom and, and we don't, we, you know, we're not in scuba, scuba gear. We got these masks on, we got weights on our feet, and it's kind of like, you know, you're walking along. It's kind of like being on the moon. You can kind of bounce around, and it was fun. I, I really enjoyed that movie. I had a great time. The only time, the only thing that I didn't like about it was I wasn't always on the set, right? you know, because I was playing the bad guy. So it was a lot of yeah. the others. But, but what about and, the boots? Stay with the boots. Uh, oh, yeah. So so anyway, we're so, so we're working. And, you know, they have lights underwater, however they figure that out. And, you know, we're working and we've been doing it for weeks and weeks and weeks at, and uh, working underwater and doing different stuff. And it's a huge tank, millions and millions and millions of gallons of water. And they put these beads on the top because the light was coming through and they, he, Jim wanted to be able to light it properly. So they put all these little tiny beads and it was all black on top. So no light would come in. And we're down there. And uh, we had an underwater uh, uh, oxygen tank that you just uh, plug into and you get, you fill up your oxygen and then you, you know, then you're off and you're wandering around and until your shot's ready, you're bouncing around, you know, I used to, you know, I told you I was a wake and bake guy for 40 years right. or whatever, you know, and I, I, I had a blast. I had a great time, especially doing the underwater stuff. Um, but nothing happened. So what happened was like all of a sudden it just, everything went black, like, all they lost all power uh oh, God. to to and there were five, four three or four actors under there the entire crew but they all have scuba gear on they have scuba they could just you, you know can't. They, no no and it, it it went from like me talking to you to you like closing your eyes i mean that's scary it, it was it was weird weird i mean i have oxygen but the first my, your first thought is well Liberals how much out. how much oxygen did i have you know and then as time goes by it's like it's dark i don't know where we are i don't know how much oxygen i have what the f is going on so for did you hear anything for, no of course not underwater no i thought maybe they had like little no, no right. they did well jim could talk to us but no nobody was communicating how long were you there i was we were there for probably about two minutes which seemed so. like eternity it seemed like a long time and then i thought to myself michael you have a practical light on you and a practical light is one that your character would use in a movie they call it a practical light right so i'm like oh my god i've got my flashlight deal so i pull that out i turn that on and people started just coming towards me you know because i was the only light underneath there after two minutes of people going what the fuck the safety so who came to you all the actors? everybody all every everybody everybody who was down there came and because they didn't have was the, one? nobody had one except for my practical light and then jim kind of rounded us all out and with hand signals and stuff said like you know follow me we're gonna go out this way and uh so like jim cameron to uh, the rescue as always he was the man i mean if you're ever in a foxhole you want to be in a foxhole with that guy and uh you know nobody was expecting it and it was scary it was scary uh but um uh you know wow. as as jim was leading the group and we we're all we all held each other we were all like lined up holding each other and jim was you know he knew you know geographically where he was and how to get out and uh by the time you know 30 or 40 seconds of doing that all of a sudden everything all the lights came back on again so that was that was a scary experience for me that's uh, crazy you know